All right, what's going on guys? It's Oh My God Tegi here. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking to you guys about five reasons to buy an Acura Integra. Now, I've owned my Integra for about a year and a half now, and I've absolutely loved it. And these are some of the reasons I used when I first bought mine as well. So, if you're looking for a first car, you're just looking to add a car to your fleet, this is the video for you guys. So, I hope you guys can hear me. I am driving right now. I normally just sit in my car and do these videos, but I decided why not drive around for once. Hopefully you guys can hear me. Hopefully it's not too bumpy. Hopefully it's not too loud. But anyways, yeah, so let's just go ahead and jump straight into this. So starting us off with number one is Integras are actually pretty cheap. Now, I bought my Integra for $23.50. The guy had it listed at three grand. I was able to talk him down because he had it listed up there for like five or six months. So I was able to talk him down. But whenever I go on Craigslist, I can usually find Integras out there for like 2000 2500 somewhere in that range for the LS model. Now, if you're looking for like a GSR, it's gonna be a little more expensive. I've seen some out there for like 3500 I've seen some out there for 5500 with less miles. So it's whatever you really want, but the LS is probably one of the cheapest ones you can buy. So I've seen people get them out there for like 1500 but you kind of swap the motor and all this stuff. But for a nice reliable one, you could probably be looking in the range from somewhere in the two to three K range for something that you can daily drive. Now moving on into number two here is these things will last forever. Now, like I said, I bought it when it was at 180,000 miles. It's almost at 200,000 miles now. And I've only had to do a couple repairs. I did the oil pan like you guys saw if you guys follow my channel. I did the spark plugs and the cap and rotor. So pretty inexpensive for repairs on this vehicle. So that's very good. And uh, honestly, if the engine does blow, it's pretty cheap for that too. I was looking into it. It's probably gonna cost you around five, 600 bucks to swap it out if you know how to do it yourself, which everybody says it's pretty easy but I don't know about that. I've seen some videos out there where people have struggled, but it does seem pretty easy, but I don't know. Once mine blows, I'm debating if I should do that. It's 500 or around, it's, you know, somewhere around there, five, $600 to buy the motor and swap it out yourself. Now, I also talked to this guy. He said he would swap it out for me for around 1200. So almost double the price, but I don't have that much free time on my hands and that would probably be done in less than a day. So he knows what he's doing. But anyways, yeah, so very inexpensive to repair and it runs for for a long long time now maybe on into number three here this one is definitely a plus for the integra i absolutely love it it's something it has over a lot of cars now that is the visibility out of the car now i absolutely like where you're seated you can see over the front hood you can't see the road in front of you just like a lot of cars but compared to like a mustang or anything like that it's not like the hood in the mustangs like all the way up here it's really hard to see out of but the Integra, it kind of slopes down and it's easier to see where you're going on the road. So that's great for new drivers. Like I said, it's very visible outside. There's not very many blind slots. There's just like a little pillar in the back, but it's not as bad as a lot of other cars like the 370 or other cars like that. So yeah, it's great to drive, but really fun to drive. You can feel the road, uh, very visible, like I said. So that's definitely another plus and another reason to buy an Integra. Now moving on into number four is this car is very easy to work on. Now, now, the engine bay is very, very open, so you could reach down, do whatever you need to do. It's not cramped at all, so it's easy to work on inside of there. There's tons of YouTube videos out there since the car is pretty old, and there's tons of tutorials on how to fix things. So you can basically fix whatever you want on this car by yourself. So that's great. There's a lot of aftermarket parts for this car as well, as you guys know. Now, there's some that are really bad, some that are really ricey, but there's some out there that are actually pretty cool, like the Type R front end, that absolutely looks amazing. That's something I, a lot of people with Integras want to do if they don't already have the Type R front end. So, very easy to work on, very easy to mod, which I really do like about this car, and it's very inexpensive to mod as well. Now, moving on into the fifth and final one here is this car, you could actually autocross when it's stock. You don't have to put too many mods on it, honestly. So that's great. I've never done it myself. I've seen a lot of people do it. I've seen a lot of YouTube videos. I think the Integra is one of the best autocross cars out there. Uh, I think the Miata keeps up with it. Some of the smaller 90s cars are really good on the autocross. So I've always wanted to do a track day. I haven't had the money though. It's like $70 to get in and then you have to buy the helmet too. You can just have a basic seatbelt. They're not that strict out here. You just have to have the helmet 
and you have to pay seventy dollars to get in. So the whole ordeal will probably cost around one hundred fifty to two hundred bucks to get in. So that's the only reason I haven't done it, but I do plan on doing that in the future. So that's awesome. That's something you can do with this car as well. So it's great with cornering. It's great handling for a car so old. Honestly, it's absolutely amazing. But yeah, that's just another reason to buy it. So if you want something that handles really good around the track. This is a car that is very cheap and can definitely do that with minimal modifications. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not already. Also, leave a comment down below what was the reason that you bought your Integra if you do own one. But yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out, guys.